welcome back to my channel, I'm James. Today we're going to be deep diving into the 20th anniversary 4K Ultra HD release of The Core from Paramount Studios. Now I did all my exclusive image comparisons on this to compare it to the previous Blu-ray releases that I'm going to be going through here exclusively here in this video. Now as always, I always wrap up each and every video with my review score at the end to let you know the sum up total quality of this set and if it's something you should actually buy or whether you should upgrade to it over any of the previous Blu-ray releases. Now to start off with, we're gonna be comparing the Core 4K to this 2022 Shout Factory Shout Select Blu-ray release. There are some similarities in some things on it and there is some drastic differences that I'll get to here in just a minute, but I've actually owned the Core in almost every iteration it's been released on and I've enjoyed the film, though I will say it is a guilty pleasure. It is not an amazing film. It's kind of cheesy in areas. You basically gotta turn your brain off, sit back and enjoy kind of an end of the world popcorn flick. And I've always enjoyed end of the world films and it's something that I always look forward to. And I've seen this film probably about eight times, but it's mostly because the film is just kind of a fun, enjoyable film to sit back and watch without having to think too hard. And for some reason, I've always just enjoyed it and found it as a guilty pleasure. But I've owned it on this previous Blu-ray. I've also owned it on this previous Blu-ray, which was released in another country, actually Australia. And this was released by Paramount Studios before the Shout Factory one. And the Paramount Studios one that was released in Australia was not as good looking as Shout Factories. Now the image above you see is from the Shout Factory 2022 Blu-ray, but I just wanted to point out that I've owned this film in every iteration to show you that I have quite a bit of experience with this film and know a lot about the differences and the ways that this has looked on home video. Now in comparison to the new 4K Ultra HD release from Paramount Studios, this is a native 4K 2160p and it was created from a new 4K scan of the original camera negatives. Now the previous Blu-ray from Shout Factory was also created from a new 4K scan of the original camera negatives and I can tell you it seems to be that they both were created from the similar scan. It's just basically Paramount did a little bit more work on this release that I'm gonna to touch on here and share with you what kind of the differences are. Now, with this, you do get Dolby Vision and HDR10 as well. So it is a nice increase in basically the color gamut. You get a much better picture and color range. Though I will say on this, the Dolby Vision was the winner for this one. And the Dolby Vision was about 10% better looking on this than the HDR10 was. It just had a better color tone and color grading it seemed like, and just overall had a more pleasing to the eye image than what the HDR10 had. So in that case, if you have Dolby Vision, that's the best way to experience the core on 4K Ultra HD. But I don't want to give you a false opinion by giving you an idea that this is an absolutely amazing 4K release because it's simply not. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down there and give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. I know there's thousands upon thousands of you that watch my videos constantly every single week and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet. Make sure to go down there, don't wait anymore. Go support this YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and hit that bell notification. That way you never miss out on getting to watch these videos when they're released early or any of this exclusive content that you're only ever gonna find here on my YouTube channel. Now, if after you get done watching this review, you decide you want to buy the core on 4K or you want to get the Shout Factory Shout Select Blu-ray release, I will link those down in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. Those direct Amazon links take you straight out to Amazon. I've done all the work for you. They never cost any of you, even a penny extra when you click on those links, but they do help to support this YouTube channel just a tiny bit. So make sure if after watching this review, you decide you want to buy either of these, make sure to click on those links I've posted in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. Now, before we get more into the image and what I was kind of explaining here just a second ago, I do want to touch on the audio. This does get English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 mix, and it's the same audio mix as we got on the previous Shout Factory release. So you don't really have a one-up on the audio mix that I could tell. They both sounded very, very similar. About the only thing I could say that sounded slightly one-up on this was it had a little bit more LFE, but that was about it. And I'm telling you, I had to strain to notice the difference. So in that case, both the Blu-ray from Shout Factory and this 4K audio-wise, you're not getting a one-up really much on either one of them. 
Now, touching on some of the special features for this 4K Ultra HD release, for this being the 20th anniversary, I did really expect Paramount Studios to put more on this. It's literally a bare bones release, and I'll show you what I mean when I get to the unboxing here, but you don't get any special features whatsoever. It is simply the film put onto this with the audio options, and then obviously your HDR10 and Dolby Vision. Now you do get English subtitles as well as about six other language options like Spanish and Italian, things like that. Those are all included on this as well. Though, like I said, there's no special features whatsoever to talk about. So the Shout Factory does get a one up on that side where you do get a ton of special features that are available on it that you don't get any on this. So if you already own the Shout Factory, you're gonna wanna keep a hold of that disc simply for all the special features that are on there. So that way you get the special features along with the transfer that's on this for the 4K release. Now image presentation wise, I will say the core on this 4K release looked a little bit better than what Shout Factories did. It does have slightly more depth to the image. The HDR10 and Dolby Vision are where I notice the biggest differences. This does have a little bit more pop obviously, it's got a lot more depth and color range in it. Um, though I will say between the two of them as you're noticing above, um, it's, it's only a percentage better. So we're not talking leaps and bounds above the Shout Factory release. The Shout Factory was pretty decent. This one just looks slightly or a little bit better, which I'll explain when I get to my review score. You'll understand a lot more when we get here to the end of the video when I get to my review score. But it is slight increases in details, though I will say I did my rough average bitrate testing on this, and I will say <sighs> that was a disappointment. For a 4K, I like to see things around, you know, 50s, above, and be pretty stable throughout. Yeah, there's fluctuations here and there that I expect, but not as drastic as what I experienced on this. You'll go from a really nice looking image with a lot of detail on one of the character's faces to the very next image being very soft, having some slight fluctuations, some very slight blocking. Um, now, I won't say there was any black crush. I didn't experience black crush on it, but you will see some slight digital noise and blocking in it just briefly when you notice that those basically bit rates basically drop off the chart. I mean, you go down to like the fives, the eights, the tens, your rough average bit rate on this, to be honest with you, was kind of poor. I mean, you were looking at right around the 40s. It was about 43 megabits per second, roughly. And that was really just kind of an overall poor average bit rate. And it's because it has some of those really bad drops, but then it has some scenes that go up into the hundreds which looked really nice. So I said, it's just kind of a more all over the place presentation. It's just not amazing. And not one of those that I can say was just an outstanding, absolutely blow you away presentation. And compared to the Blu-ray, like I said, it's just a bit better looking. And that's mostly enhanced because of the Dolby Vision and HDR10. That's where I feel like if you didn't have Dolby Vision or HDR10, Ah, man, it'd be really hard to say that this looked so much better than even the Blu-ray, but the Dolby Vision HDR10 are what give it the one up over the previous Shout Factory release. Now, showing you what you get in this, I did like the slip cover. I like how it says 20th anniversary on it. I really did like it. And when it came, I thought, man, this is kind of a cool slip cover that they gave for this because shiny metallic and I liked the artwork. On the side, it says the core on it, has a picture of the cast on it. Talks about the film back here, again, no special features listed. You do get a digital copy of the movie, but again, no special features on that either. Then when you get inside here, it does have one of those newer, thicker cases that I do like for these 4K cases. So I'll give Paramount a one up for that. It didn't have any of that greasy residue in it. So that was a positive. This is your 4K Ultra HD disc. Remember, it's just a 4K set. So it is a more budget release. So at least Paramount knew that going into this. They're not charging 30, 40 bucks for this release. They're releasing it at a budget price point, and that link I posted down below has it on sale for the same price as everywhere. It's a very budget priced release. You get your 4K disc, that's it. Now this disc is 100% region free, so you won't have any issues playing this anywhere worldwide, so at least that's good news. Now for a film that came out in 2003, it's kind of a sci-fi action adventure end of the world film, which as I've talked about over the years here on this YouTube channel, I'm a big sucker for these types of films. And I've done a ton of reviews of these types of films that I've enjoyed over the years, like Greenland, that's a great end of the world film released on that exclusive 4K Ultra HD release. If you haven't checked out that review, you're gonna wanna go check out that review when you get done watching this one here. But I really like end of the world films, but you just have to go into this understanding, just like what I talked about with Moonfall, another kind of one of those end of the world type films. Um, it is very much so turn your brain off. 
Don't go into this thinking it's going to be amazing. Don't go into this thinking it's just gonna be one of those films that keeps you engaged the whole time where you're just stunned by the amazing writing and acting. It's not. It's a popcorn flick. You literally sit back and just have a fun time. I think the technology behind it, the idea of what they were doing was just fun and entertaining. No, the special effects, some of them don't look the greatest and on the 4K you notice that even a little more so. But again, because I went to see it in theaters and I've watched it kind of just whenever I want to just sit back and kind of watch something and turn my brain off, I've watched this quite a few times and a lot of these end of the world films I love collecting. But taking that into account doesn't necessarily mean this is an amazing release. So getting to my review score for the core on 4K Ultra HD, this gets an okay 7.7. .7. It's just okay. There's lots of things on it that just are not great. No special features being on this and this being such a bare bones release, I would have liked to have seen some of those. The fact that it doesn't have a great or high average bitrate, so it lends to an unstable image. You know, I mentioned just slightly about the film grain that's on it. Those are big fluctuations. You go from seeing film grain to almost no film grain to seeing it fluctuate throughout it. And those are things that I would have liked to have seen Paramount work on better, especially for the 20th anniversary release. I mean, they could have done a bit more work for this, unless Paramount was just thinking that basically let's use what Shout Factory already did, kind of put some things on it, like I said with the Dolby Vision HDR10, and put it out there and basically put it out there at a budget release. And I kind of feel like that's what they're doing with this. They kind of put it out there so that way fans could own it in 4K. Yes, it's a slight upgrade. But again, I'm being very specific when I say slight upgrade over the Shout Factory previous release. So with those limitations, it truly is just a 7.7. .7. It's okay. If you're a fan of end of the world films and you love collecting them, then this is a must buy. Because like me, I love collecting end of the world films. As I said, I've owned every iteration of the core on Blu-ray as well. So I have a lot of experience with the film because I've enjoyed it over the years. I just wanted to see a whole lot more from this. And that's where I said, it's just a slight disappointment. It's not, it's not amazing. And I have seen some reviews saying it is amazing. Again, it's from folks that really have no clue what they're talking about. Don't know how to review anything. Don't know how to test anything. And that's why what I do here on my YouTube channel is just so darned exclusive. Because I sit down and do all of these exclusive image comparisons that you see above. I do all of my exclusive testing data. So that way I can share all of that accurate data with all of you. And that way you know if this is something worth buying. If you've never seen the film, I don't know, maybe wait till it goes on sale and it's even cheaper than the budget releases. If it's something you want to experience because it's cheaper to begin with, go ahead and buy it. Just keep in mind, I'm not saying this is a stellar release and I'm not telling you it's a hugely recommended release that you must buy either. It's just not. 7.7 .7 is just okay. Um, like I said, there's a lot of things on this that should have been done better. Now, if you enjoy all these exclusive image comparisons, all of these exclusive videos I release here on my YouTube channel, make sure to join my Collectors VIP Club. It's very important that you join that because that is the only way I can always keep continuing to create all of this content. The reason nobody else creates these exclusive image comparisons with all of this exclusive testing data is because it's too darned expensive, takes too much time, and nobody wants to take the time to do that or put the money out for it. I do every single week here on my YouTube channel for many, many years now. I'm the original 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons. There's lots of mimics and people that try to copy what I do at a lower quality without actually doing any of these native image comparisons. So if you really enjoy all the hard work and time I put into every single one of these videos, then it's very important to join my Collector's VIP Club. It only costs you less than the price of a cup of coffee. So a couple of bucks every month, drastically makes a difference in the creation of every single one of these videos. The only way I can always continue to do this is with all of you, my VIP club members support. So even if you're a subscriber and you haven't joined the VIP club, now is the time to do it. I really wanna say thank you to all my VIP club members. You truly do make a difference in me being able to continue to create all of this content here on my YouTube channel. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. I really hope all of you enjoyed this. I hope you really enjoy all of my heart and soul I put into every single video I create. If you decide you're wanting to buy the core on 4K or you wanna buy the Shout Factory Blu-ray, I've posted all of those direct links in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. Click on those, it takes you straight out there. That's never any extra cost to you. 
but that does help support this YouTube channel just a tiny bit as well. As always, I hope all of you have a blessed day. I've always got something new, exclusive, or early reviews coming out here very soon.